Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to learn how to load and save template data for records in your Microsoft Access database. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you got the same thing that you do over and over again, I consider that to be like template data. For example, I'm going to be putting this in my fitness database. And most days, I have, I know I ate the same breakfast, mostly, you know, a similar lunch. Uh, the same dinner so I could set up a template for my workout days where I eat a little more and I have a workout in there or my non-workout days where I eat a little less and I don't have a workout in it but the same technique can apply regardless of whether you are doing let's say orders you know you've got the same starter kit or a bundle or like a holiday special that you have and multiple people order it well you just pick the template and it loads all the items onto the order same thing for uh, employee scheduling right? Most weekly schedules repeat. You got a Monday template, a Tuesday template, and so on. Save those as a template. Budget templates, right? Monthly budgets. Again, same thing. Rent, utilities, insurance, whatever, put it in a template. So it doesn't matter what kind of data you're doing. You can do the same technique, and we're going to learn how to do that in today's video. Now, this is part 60 of my fitness database series. Do you have to watch all 59 previous? No, you don't really have to. You'll get the, you'll get the idea. But this is a database series about cool database tips and tricks. So whether you care about fitness or not, doesn't matter. All right, so here's my fitness database. And in here we track food and we track meals, but that stuff doesn't really matter. What we have basically here is a daily food log where every day I log what I ate. It's got how many calories and protein and so on. So these are all individual records inside of the food log. Now, what I want to do is I want to say, okay, I, me personally, I got two, usually two different types of days. I got a workout day and a non-workout day. Like my workout days, usually you'll see here, for example, I got my weightlifting, my power shake. I eat a little bit bigger lunch, a little bit bigger dinner because I can, right? My non-workout days, usually I'll just have a walk in here. I try to walk a mile, mile and a half every night regardless. Okay. So what I want to do is be, I want to be able to save this as my template. So when I go to today, or let's say I go to tomorrow on a plan tomorrow's meal, I just can hit load the template and it loads it all in there, right? Whereas right now I got a copy item button here. We can go back here and I can say, okay, copy this, copy this, copy this, copy this. But now that I've been using this for a while myself, now I'm seeing that, you know, most of this stuff, like the details will change for my lunch or my dinner. That's why I got these here with all these asterisks in there because I haven't done that yet, right? I'm only up to this part of my day for today. So I put in here, okay, 700 calorie lunch, 800 calorie dinner. And so this I could save as a template because I loaded into tomorrow and now I just got to fill in the details for lunch and dinner. Everything else is pretty much the same, right? Okay, so let's first, we got to have a spot to save the template data, right? So what do you do when you got to have a spot to save something? Well, you make a table for it. Now I've got the food log T, which is where the actual data is. Now, since the template is essentially going to be copying all of this stuff, but like for one day, Let's just copy this table and make a few modifications to it. That way we don't have to recreate all these fields, right? So I'm going to take the food log T. I'm going to copy it, control C, and then hit control V paste. And we're going to call this the food log template T. And I'm only going to uh, copy the structure. I don't need all the data that's in there. So hit OK. And now you got a nice blank brand new table with all this stuff in here. Now, obviously, in this guy, I don't want the primary key being the food log ID. I want a special template ID in here, but I'm gonna leave this field in here and I'll explain why in just a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this not the primary key and I'm going to change it to just a regular number and make sure it's indexed duplicates okay instead of index no duplicates. So this is no longer the primary key, but I'm leaving the field in the table and I'll explain why in a few minutes. All right, but I do want to add a primary key. So I'm going to right click in here and insert a row. And let's call this the food log template ID. And that will be the auto number. Okay, so all the other fields are identical except we're adding that one. All right, save it. Uh, did, did, did. Oh, okay. All right, this is interesting. This comes up from time to time. You can't change one field from an auto number data type and add another field as an auto number at the same time. It's a quirk with access. I forgot all about that. You don't do it that often. Basically, put this back to a number, save the table. Now you can switch it to an auto number and save the table. See, it's, I don't, it's just one of those little access quirks. 
that you can't do both steps at the same time. I don't know why, but I think it's happened like three. If I wasn't doing this as a teaching class, I think I've had it happen like once or twice in my entire career. <laughs> all right, so now we got this blank template. It's all ready to accept data. Let's go back to our food log table and make a button down here. I'm going to collapse this back up so I got more room to work. Let's add a button down here. I'm going to just copy this guy, right? Copy, paste, and we're going to just make this the save button. And I'm going to put a label next to it. Let's just copy any old label. Copy, paste. Stick it down here because we're going to make a template save and load, right? Template like that. And this way I don't have to put on the button save template and load template. We just got save and load buttons next to the template label, right? We want to try and conserve space. Okay. And there we go. Now let's give this button a good name, open it up, go to all. Let's change this to save template button BTN. Okay. Right click, build event. Let's go into our code builder. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask the user if they're sure they want to do this because it's going to overwrite whatever's in the table. Okay, so make sure they want to do this. We're going to say, if not, are you sure? What's are you sure? For those of you who haven't watched the whole series, it's just a function that I made that pops up a message box with the, uh, the question, you know, and asks, are you sure, yes or no? But I changed it a little bit to make it easier. Okay. So this will overwrite existing template data. Are you sure? Comma, what's the, uh, the title is going to be save template, right? If not, are you sure? So if they say no, then exit sub. That's it. Okay, get out of Dodge. If they say no to that. All right. See how my are you, are you sure function makes the logic a little easier than saying if if not, you know, if, if uh, you know, the message box is not equal VB, no. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, next, we're going to delete existing template data. And this one's real easy, right? Just delete all the records from the table. Current VB dot execute delete from food log template T. Don't delete from the food log T. That's all your stuff. Okay, now we've got a clean, blank, empty table ready to save the data. Now here we're just going to use an insert into command to copy all the records from the food log, right, from this guy for this day. All right, now this date is our log date, right? So the, the date of the food item has to be on this log date. So between this date at midnight and less than tomorrow at midnight. All right, we can use a simple SQL statement to do this. So write current days, days, days <laughs> records to template. All right, you ready? Here we go. Current db.execute insert into the food log template T, spelling's important. Next line, select star from food log T, okay? Normally when we do an insert into, like we have this entire uh, course and, and, through, and for most insert into queries, you do a field list. Well, you can actually do a select statement in here too. It's a little, it's, a, it's, it's a rarer, but you can do it. And this prevents us from having to list all of the fields in our select statement. I can just select all, right, with the star. And that, my friends, is why I had you leave that field in the template table that food log ID, because it's going to be part of this set of data. And if that field wasn't in there, this would generate an error. Okay. So even though we don't need the field, I'm leaving it in that destination table so that it avoids the insert into error. Okay. Makes sense. And that's perfectly fine. You can have some bogus fields in there if it makes your coding easier. Otherwise you'd have to sit here and loop through all the fields in the table. All right. So select all the fields from the food log table where and don't forget your spaces, by the way. Notice I got a space here. I got a space here, right? Or uh, here, excuse me. Got to have spaces. Otherwise, you have to put a space in front of these. Okay. Oh, someone's beaming in. Hold on. That's nah, just more tribbles. Okay. So where the food date time, that's the field in the table, is greater than or equal to the log date. Right. Got to put it inside pound signs. It's a date. And then we got to have down here and 
the food date time is less than log date plus one. See? Okay, that makes it a date. It's the log date, whatever date we're on. So it's gotta be greater than or equal to that date at midnight and less than tomorrow at midnight. Okay, that'll copy all those records. Now, status, done, beep. Let them know they're done. Okay, status is my own function. Also puts the text in the status box. All right, debug compile once in a while. Close it, close it, close it, open it. All right, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see here. All right, let's go to tomorrow. Well, actually, we have nothing in our table. We got to save our table. All right, well, going to tomorrow is the next step. All right, so here's the data. I'm going to save it in my template. Ready? Hit save. This will overwrite existing template data. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the template. Eh, look at that. There's all our records. There's all that data that we just copied from the log into the template. Okay, so now we've saved the data. Now the next step is to do it where we go to another day and hit the load button and it loads the table, well, loads the template table back into the log and updates all the dates and times to this date. So it's a little bit of a different uh, strategy we have to take. And we'll do that in tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Members, you can watch it right now because I'm going to record it in just a few minutes. And that's one of the benefits of being a member is you get to watch my videos as soon as I post them, not as soon as they go, they go public. So there you go. And while I'm at it, I am going to change this slide. So this one is just how to save. Let's, yes, this is PowerPoint. How to save template data for records. And we'll make part 61 how to load the template data. Yeah, yeah there we go. All right. All right. So that's going to do it. That's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part 61. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.